In this video, we will go through the installation and setup of Flutter in Mac OS step by step. Starting from Mac system requirements for it to work with Flutter, how to set an environment variable, and how to install Flutter SDK. So this is the official documentation of Flutter framework published by Google Flutter team. In Get Started, we can see Flutter installation for different operating systems. We will go for Mac OS. Here, it listed the system requirements for Flutter framework to work with Mac. Make sure your Mac device fulfill these requirements. Next, installation of Flutter SDK. Here, provided Flutter SDK zip file for Intel Mac and Apple Silicon Mac. Download specific zip file according to your MacBook's chip. Once you downloaded, the documentation recommended to create a development directory and unzip the files there. You can either do it from the terminal or Finder. I will show you both ways. Firstly, go to Finder, look for home directory on the left, then create a directory called development and move the zip file into this folder and unzip it. Upon unzip, you will get a Flutter folder. This is the Finder way. From terminal, you can use command to change working directory and make a development directory, then unzip the file. Lastly, set path environment variable. The problem with our Flutter installation is that it will just execute the export path and append the path to the Flutter repository that we just downloaded. So if we open a terminal in another directory, Flutter won't work. And to make it work, we have to update path variables. Firstly, we need to identify which terminal we are using. So you can open the terminal and take a look at the title bar. If you see ZSH return, so this is a Z shell. The other one is bash terminal. So if you are using the ZSH terminal, we have to create a file in the home directory which will be named .zshrc. And for the bash terminal, the file will be named .bashrc. So in the home directory, you have to input this command, wim.zshrc. And for bash terminal, it's wim.bashrc. If you have already created the file, it will show duplicate. If not, it will create a new one. Then paste the following command into the top of the file and make sure you update the path. If you follow this tutorial, you just have to edit the username to your Mac username. Once it's done, type colon wq and press enter. This will write and save the file. After this step, you are now ready to run Flutter command. To verify if you have completely installed Flutter SDK correctly, you can run Flutter Doctor command in the terminal. So if you install Flutter SDK correctly, it will show a green tick in front of the Flutter, else something is wrong in the configuration. If you face any issue, feel free to comment below and we are more than willing to help. Conclusion. This is how you install Flutter SDK on Mac OS. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.